A constant beam height and thought through beam paths are great ways to base good alignment routines on. Here are a few things to get you going. The first tip is to stick to a constant beam height, which helps avoid wonky incidence angles and optical elements. Surface coatings and wave plates or filters are often designed for normal incidence, so sticking to a constant beam height reduces the problem of using them off spec. An easy way to ensure a constant beam height is to use two pinholes on equally tall posts. You can either use a fixed height and trust the mechanical precision, or align the pinholes on posts inside post holders onto the same beam. This gives you a bit more flexibility. Between each pair of steering mirrors, align the beam to go through both pinholes in the planned path. As a reminder, here's how you do that. Make sure to use pinholes that you can actually put on your optical table. Pinholes standing on the floor or marks on the walls are usually not reliable points of reference. It is sometimes also a good idea to use only a single pinhole on a post with a post collar and bolted down post holders along your beam path. This allows for easy everyday alignment checking. Regarding the actual beam height, it should be as low as possible without making it too difficult to reach adjust the knobs. This increases the robustness against vibrations. If your table shall float, then place an align equipment on it in the floating state. Especially bolted down large laser cavities can be picky, as the table ever so slightly warps when going between floated and unfloated states. If you have more ideas to make general alignment easier, let me know for future videos. See you next time.